Reptiliners and welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to use spray on Reptiliner in a can. There's a whole bunch of different ways you can use Reptiliner. You can use like the traditional roll-on that we've used before in much older videos. You can use like a full air compressor of like spray gun and all that sort of stuff. But if you're like me and you just like, like working in the garage and doing little DIY projects, I think the Reptiliner in a can is pretty much unbeatable. Now these are really cheap. You can buy them for about $27. Uh, from Super Cheap Auto, they've got a clog free nozzle, durable, corrosion resistant. We've used these on pretty much anything. We've used them from the light bars on the car to our kids' toys to the fridge slide that's made out of wood. Yes, we've used this on wood, we've used it on plastic, and it holds to it so damn well. It's really easy to use. Simply sand down the surface. Um, you can use a wire brush, a sand disc, whatever you want, uh, just to rough up the surface. Pretty much spray it on, let it dry. Do a couple more coats, spray it on, and let it dry, and you're pretty much good to go. It's very simple and easy to use. So today we're going to show you how to use Raptor Liner um, on the steel roof rack that we got off Facebook Marketplace. As you can see, it's seen better days. It's got rust. It's very faded. It's, got, it's been very neglected in the sun. So we're going to give it a new lease of life with a little bit of Raptor Liner. It's going to be a very simple process. It's only going to take like 15 to 20 minutes if that, to give it looking pretty much brand new. The best part about this, like with most painting, you gotta sand the surface, be nice and careful with it, make sure there's no high spots or low spots, and make sure there's no orange peel. With this stuff, um, you can be a little bit more rough, a little bit more careless if you like, because um, the point of it is to have a textured and rough finish. Obviously, you wanna make it look good um, and have the best coating possible, um, but you don't have to worry about you can just use literally a grinding disc, grind all the old paint off, grind the rust off, spray it on, and you're good to go. Um, and it looks absolutely mint. So we're gonna show you how to do that with a wire wheel, get all this rust off, give it a little bit of a sand, and pretty much just spray this on, and you got a brand new looking bumper, um, looking roof rack. And we've got this for 20 bucks um, off Facebook Marketplace. It has definitely seen better days, um, and we're gonna make it look brand new for our next project that we're gonna be having in the garage. So. Let's get on. All right, let's get on to it. Um, and you can buy this from multiple stores. You can buy it online uh, from different places all around the world, or you can buy it from Super Cheap Auto for about twenty-seven dollars a can. And that's a that's a four hundred and fifty mil can. Um, it lasts really well, and it's got a non-clogged nozzle. Let's get on to it and show you how to use it. Alright, so after about two minutes of shaking, you'll notice a few dimples, um, indents, same form on the bottom of the can. That's from that little ball that's inside the can, pretty much means it's um, ready to use. Now this is a clog free nozzle, but if you do want to clean it, they recommend inverting and just spraying until you no, know, pretty much, wrap the liner comes out. It's a good way to keep the nozzle clean for next time if you want to store it for a long period of time. Now I recommend keeping it about 10 to 15 centimeters away from what you're spraying and just go smoothly in a nice um, even layer. Um, we'll be doing multiple coats, so we're gonna do one down the bottom, kind of move up to the middle, around the top, and just come down um, and do a nice even coverage. And then kind of come across, but it's very easy to use, pretty much press there. And then once you've done your first wave, just go across again. You can change the angle as well. You get different textures and patterns. You can always already see it, the nice textured finish there. It's not even dry yet. So we're gonna go along, come up um, and do all the back of it. Um, and then we're gonna let it dry for about 10 or 15 minutes and just do a nice easy coat over the top. Not trying to get too much build up. We kind of just did that. 
in the corner here. Uh, we had about too much build up, so a bit close and held the nozzle down for a bit too long and it built up a bit high. So, a bit further away. We just did a nice, easy coat. Such as that. A little bit built up there. You can see the difference between it being built up and it being a bit more, um, what's the word? That's built up and that's kind of just like spread across a bit better. Um, so we'll just go along, touch that up. You can always go over the top of it. But you can see the texture finish on there. It looks absolutely mint. So we're we'll gonna let that dry for about 10, 15 minutes. And then we're gonna go along and do another coat. But it's already looking absolutely mint. All right, let's go on, finish it off. And let's see the finished result. All right, and that's pretty much it guys. It's turned out absolutely mint. We got a little heavy spot here that's going to dry out. If you really want to speed up the drying process, you could probably get a heat gun or like a um, not a blowtorch. What's that thing your wife uses? You don't really use it often. Hair dryer. Use a hair dryer or like a heat gun or something to speed up the process. Um, but all in all, considering what it was like before, this is what it was like before, and this is what it is now. Absolutely massive difference. A few spots would probably go over. And touch up but it's touch up all those spots all those imperfections and for a $20 roof rack man probably sell it for like 120 130 it looks pretty much brand new even better than brand new because brand new it wasn't textured it was kind of just I don't know front of the mill sort of roof rack and this is even better so for $27 from super cheap auto get yourself a can of wrap the liner um, make your shit look brand new that's what we've been doing anyway I hope you guys found this how-to video on how to use Raptor Liner in a can um, and found it useful. Get in the garage, start Raptor Lining some stuff and start making it look brand new. The other thing is, is going to add a resistance to this as well. This is non-corrosive, so the more we leave this outside, um, we go up the beach, we go camping, stuff like that, it's not going to wear down, it's not going to scuff, it's a much more um, textured surface, so it's not going to wear down like normal paint will as well. It's not going to fade, it's not going to rust and that sort of stuff as well. And being at the top of the car, getting smashed by rocks, whatever, snow, whatever that sort of stuff, um, it's going to be a lot long, it's going to be a lot, it's going to last a lot longer and a lot, um, be a lot more um, resistance to the elements as well. So that's pretty much it for today guys, I hope you found this video very helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe button and if you want to add a comment, please do, please do. I love it when you guys um, add comments. Um, I love reading them and seeing what project you guys are up to in the garage as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.